Now, without further ado, we're going to turn around and find our oh, governor is. of Alaska, uh, Sarah Palin. Yay! There's a whole crowd here waiting to greet you and thank you. Hi, Sarah. Or, I'm sorry, thank governor. You. Governor. We're, we're so glad to have you here Call right now. Call me Sarah. Oh, thank you. You betcha. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you are the mother of track who is a young, your son has been deployed to Afghanistan and I know that you know the worry and concern as a Blue Star mom and we are so grateful for his service and for everything that you have done for our troops. Thank you. Be a part of this troopathon too, and to get to thank all of you for doing your part and showing support for America's finest, our men and women in uniform. And my son, he would be mortified if he knew that I would uh, uh, point him out uh, amongst the crowd of troops. So I won't speak specifically about track, but I am very, very proud of him, and he's doing awesome. But I'll tell you, our troops, they deserve our support. We living relatively easy lives and exercising all of our rights and our, the constitutional protections that we have, it's thanks to these young men and women who are sacrificing all for all of us. So, you know, the least that we can do is show them some support through this troopathon and do all that we can to let them know that we've got, we've got their back. They've got ours, we've got their back. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Governor, we, we, hear, we hear from the troops who are there and, and the ones who come back constantly that the one big fear they have is that they be, be greeted like the Vietnam veterans were greeted or that they be forgotten. I mean, as a military mom, uh, say something to, to the rest of America to tell us to, you know, just how important that is that they at least know that they are remembered. Well, you know what? First, I want to shout out, thank you, kudos to those Vietnam vets, those who had been mistreated, yes. mistreated upon their return. Um, God bless the United States military, those who served in the past and are presently serving, again, laying it all on the line for all of us. I'm ashamed of the way that our Vietnam vets had been treated, and if there's any way that we can make it up to them, let us do so. And learning from the experience that some had um, participated in with that mistreatment of vets returning way back when, uh, let, us, uh, let us make sure that that never happens again and that we always can keep in mind what it is in terms of the sacrifice being made by our troops today. And um, let's show them the support. Let's show them the respect that they so deserve. Bottom line, our men and women in uniform truly are a force for good in this world, and it's nothing to apologize for. It's something to take pride in. They are our true American heroes. Absolutely. 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 I, I know, Governor, that you've been very supportive of the Alaska National Guard when they served over in Iraq, and why did you feel that was so important? Yeah, all, all governors, I think, take a lot of pride in being commander-in-chief of their National Guard troops and the Alaska Guardsmen and women. They, having uh, served in uh, peacekeeping efforts in Kosovo and, and in Kuwait and in all these other areas, and I was so privileged to take a couple of trips overseas to get to visit them and, and see the commitment that they have to contributing to a greater good, serving something greater than self and, and branching out beyond just Alaska and the protection that we need here, but throughout the world. What amazed me about our troops over there was never did I hear one complaint from any of these guys. And these guys and these gals here, they train up here in Alaska, 60, 70 degrees below zero, and then they get over there where it's 120, 130 above, and they're carrying uh, you know, 70 pounds worth of gear, and, and they're um, physically, it, it looks so draining and, and it looks so burdensome, but never once did I hear a complaint. In fact, I just saw pride on their faces, and they were so happy to get to participate in something that, again, is creating a, a safer, um, a better world for the rest of us. I have nothing but pride for all of our guardsmen and women. You know, I have to say that you are asked to do a million things at once, of course, but um, not only as a mother, um, but as somebody who has represented our values as Americans. And I have to express my heartfelt thanks to you today for being here, for being on this broadcast, for showing the rest of the country 
how much you love all of us, and especially our men and women who are serving in harm's way. Thank you so much, Governor. Well, you know, I accept that, and, and I thank you. But truly, my thanks to you is greater, I think, than I can even articulate. For you to have put such effort into this troopathon, for you to get people enthused about contributing to help make our, our troops' lives a little bit easier while they're overseas, especially, and for the families who are making great sacrifices, too. My heart just goes out to you in, in great appreciation, and um, let me speak a little bit for some of the troops. I'll speak for my son when I say they do appreciate your efforts. They love those care packages. They love getting a personal note or letter from someone saying, Man, we haven't forgotten about you. We love you. We're praying for you. We're providing a prayer shield around you. And um, for you, your efforts, I, I, I cannot thank you enough. Governor of Alaska, former Governor of Alaska, Sarah Palin, mom of track and a true patriot. We love you so much. Thank you and God bless you. God bless you, God bless the United States military yeah. and America. What a shockingly controversial woman. I know. <laughs> <laughs> really radical. Boy, really radical. The blogs are going to go crazy I over know. that. I know. And, you know, <laughs> nightly exactly. news oh, yeah. is going to go insane. I mean, what are they going to do with all the headlines? Look, I'm, I'm telling you.